Hey there everyone, it's Michael Dougal. In this video, I'm going to answer this very commonly asked question of why are so many top producing real estate agents making the switch over to EXP? In this video, I am not answering the questions about what are the EXP splits, what are the EXP general benefits. If you'd like that information, then watch this video. I will link right here, go ahead and click that. But in this video, it's kind of more experience based. I'll let you know my thoughts because the company of course is growing very, very fast. Um, when I joined the company, it was early 2020 and the company was relatively unheard of here in Toronto, whereas now it's got somewhat of a presence, but I truly believe that this is just the beginning. Firstly, it's important to kind of understand the EXP model and what makes it different than other brokerages. And here's what I mean. If we look at uh, traditional brokerages, like let's take Remax or Century 21, for example, they have a traditional management hierarchy, which includes like the international manager, the regional manager, you have your broker manager, and then at the very bottom of the hierarchy, you have the agent. Whereas what EXP did is they said, no, the agent is not at the bottom, the agent is at the top. The agents are going to be the ones who have ownership in the company. And that's what happens because when you're at EXP, when you sell your first home, for example, the company, they give you stock. Every time you close a transaction after that, you're able to buy EXPI stock at a discount. So we are all owners. One of the other major disruptors is the revenue sharing program where what happens is every time that you as an agent invite another agent to the company, you'll get paid a small percentage from each of their closings. So anyone that you personally sponsor, you're making 3.5% of what they earn per each closing up to the time that they cap. So if somebody caps, they make $80,000 per year, you would be making $2,800 per year off that agent. And this whole like revenue sharing, recruiting thing is a lot easier than people think it is. Um, provided that you have sales skills, and I'm sure that you do, it's very similar to just telling your friends about a great movie. And with EXP, I really feel like I'm saving um, my other agent friends from the brokerage that they are presently with. Because, hey, let's face it, because all of us want an exit strategy and EXP has that exit strategy, because as you're selling homes, you're building your passive income. I've been at this company for just over a year and I've built a tremendous monthly passive income that I never would have thought was possible. And each month, I'm getting a residual paycheck deposited right into my bank account. And you don't need to even spend a lot of time on recruiting. A lot of people join EXP for the other benefits and they don't recruit, but you may as well go ahead and tell your friends about it because um, if you're working with them, and you're making money at the same time, I mean, everything's great. It's a lot more fun making money with people than making it by yourself. So specifically, why a top producer would make a move to EXP because of the revenue sharing program rather than make their own brokerage is because with EXP, you are able to go global. For example, I have personally um, sponsored several agents in the US because they wanted coaching from me. And my goal with those agents is to make them such big producers that Naturally afterwards, they may be able to recruit agents themselves. And you know how the EXP model works in like it's seven levels. So like we're partners, we want others to do well and we see things very long term versus short term. And I'm quite confident that you can put me in any marketplace and I would find a way to succeed because the lead gen pillars and the techniques, if they work in one market, again, they will work somewhere else. Another big reason why um, top producers are moving to EXP is specifically because of the fact that it's a lot easier to grow a team. For example, when I was at Remax, it was pretty difficult to convince an agent to join Remax and pay the Remax fees as well as be on my team because the Remax fees were so high. But here at EXP, we're only looking at $139 per month. And if you are a team leader, if you build your own personal sales team, whether it's three people or 10 people, what so is at every company you're gonna have turnover. Here at EXP, there's no turnover. I mean, if the agents decide to go individually, as long as they don't leave the company, you will still be paid off their sales through the revenue share program. As well, if you have hit a specific level of production, you may be able to apply at EXP and have your agents be on a half cap. Whereas instead of the agents having to make $80,000 for them to stop paying the split, they would only have to make $40,000. So once they've made the $40,000, they would only have to pay the $285 transaction fee. Again, um, this isn't for everyone. You have to have a specific number of sales. I was able to do it. And that's something that personally really appealed to me. The fact that with a lot of agents who are likely to be joining teams, they typically don't have like a six figure income to begin with and they just want to get there. So by putting them on a half cap, that would really help them out. And then the major advantage to top producers, if they make the switch to EXP is the access to the trainings and the masterminds. And when I say trainings, 
We've got over 20 hours of training in the cloud. So this is not only good for you as an agent, um, but if you're a top agent, you're likely going to recruit some people. You're going to recruit some newer agents. So it's nice knowing that the company is going to take care of a lot of that training for you rather than take into your time and whatever you have going on. So what so is every agent that you bring in, you can get them to you know, choose an avatar and they can consume up to 20 hours of training if they want to alongside with your training. And then um, I realize there's a lot of top producers out there that may think, okay, I don't really need the training. That doesn't really appeal to me specifically. But the greatest thing is the masterminds because generally speaking, you're going to have to pay $1,000, $2,000 a month, maybe even $5,000 a month to be in specific masterminds. There are such brilliant people at this company that we can learn from. Like here's a clip of Glenn Sanford. You know, so, so you were sold, hey, you're going you're gonna to own your own business. And what you quickly find out is that you don't own a business, a business owns you. Like you have to answer the phone, you got to go show properties, you got to go out listings, you got to go st hire staff, you got to do all this stuff. And, and very quickly, I realized I didn't own a business. And this is, this is back in 2002. For instance, today, I was on a Zoom training with somebody who has sold over 400 homes in one year. And he was teaching us some of the tools he's using to generate leads, to help out his team. And again, I just can't believe that I'm able to get this without paying extra money for coaching. And that is only possible because I'm part of their EXP organization. So that would mean that if uh, you were to choose me as your sponsor, then you would have access to them as well. So it's a great community. It's a great vibe. Again, we're having a lot of fun. If you have specific questions about the company or you'd like to connect with me, then um, either contact me. My contact information is in the description box below or book a link on my Calendly and we can talk. Whether you prefer Zoom, we can do Zoom or we can chat on the phone. And if you haven't already watched the introductory video to EXP covering the splits and the general benefits, then watch that video. I will link right here and I'll look forward to seeing you guys next time.